Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Fulham interested in signing Eric Bailly. Man United prepared to release him for free. Fulham are interested in signing Manchester United defender Eric Bailly on a free transfer, according to RMC Sport journalist Fabrice Hawkins. The Ivory Coast international spent the previous campaign alone with Marseille, where he made 23 appearances across all competitions. The French club had agreed a conditional obligation to buy him, but Bailly did not make the required appearances to trigger the clause. It's now reported that the centre-back has an agreement with United to leave on a free transfer. He recently turned down a move to Besiktas. Fulham have now expressed an interest in signing him. Bailly had a promising pre-season with United last summer, but he was reluctant to stay at the club without the assurance of a regular starting spot. As a result, he made the move to Marseille, but had a difficult time with them. Bailly missed several games due to injuries and a lengthy suspension. The French outfit decided against a permanent deal, despite qualifying for the Champions League. Bailly is currently in the final 10 months of his £80,000 a week contract. United will be aiming to offload him such that they can save at least part of his salary. The 29-year-old was tipped for big things when he joined from Villarreal for £30 million in 2016, but injuries and poor form have hampered his career. Hopefully, he can change his fortunes elsewhere. United are said to suffer huge losses with his exit, but it's better than keeping an unwanted player with them. Eric Ten Hag left frustrated by Harry Maguire's stay after failed West Ham move. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is reportedly frustrated by Harry Maguire's decision to stay at Old Trafford rather than pursue a move to West Ham. United accepted a £30 million bid from West Ham for Maguire after rejecting an initial £20 million proposal. All that was left was for the player to agree personal terms with the Hammers and give his approval for the transfer to be sealed. However, the 30-year-old's reluctance to take a pay cut, coupled with his reported demand for a £7 million payout from United before leaving, made the deal collapse. Sources close to Maguire informed top journalist that he is happy at United and believes he will get ample opportunities to regain a starting berth under Ten Hag. The result of the England international's refusal to exit United is that the club can no longer pursue his replacement, which would likely be in the form of Benjamin Pavard or Jean-Claire Todibo. Pavard especially seemed advanced as the Red Devils even contacted Bayern München to inquire about the World Cup winner's availability. French publication L'Equipe explains that Ten Hag guaranteed Pavard a place in the starting eleven at the heart of the backline. The Frenchman is eager to join United, but his situation is complicated by Maguire's reluctance to go elsewhere. Football transfers Jack Talbot Relays that despite suggestions, the 20 time English champions were more than happy to keep Maguire as they consider him an important player. The opposite is actually true. Talbot says Maguire is not wanted by Ten Hag. He does not fit the coach philosophy, though the latest news reports have you turned on this, stressing that he is very much in Ten Hag's plans. Make no mistake. Ten Hag is frustrated by keeping him and not having someone like Kim Minajay or even Benjamin Pavard who can operate centrally and on the flank like Luke Shaw. Eric Ten Hag had a completely different plan for Rasmus Hoyland before signing the striker. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag had initially planned to gently ease Rasmus Hoyland into his setup at the club, but the former Atalanta man may now be forced to shoulder more responsibilities than anticipated at first. Earlier this month, Hoyland was officially unveiled as Ten Hag's latest recruit. He cost United an initial 70 million euros, but the final fee could rise to 85 million euros if all performance-related bonuses are achieved. The Dane is yet to make his debut for his new side, as he is recovering from a back injury sustained while still contracted to Atalanta. 
He was recently pictured in a training ahead of United clash against Tottenham Hotspur on Saturday. Hoyland is of course expected to make his official debut on September 3 as the Red Devils travel to the Emirates to take on Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. Jack Talbot reports that United plan was to use the versatile 20-year-old across a number of positions while using a more natural target man to lead the line. Ten Hag has a track record of deploying goal scorers as the focal point of his attack, typical examples of players he has worked with before in this fashion include Sebastian Haller at Ajax and Wout Weghorst last season. Cristiano Ronaldo was also utilized in the same capacity before his relationship with the club soured and his contract was terminated. With the United unlikely to secure the services of another frontman, the burden of finding the back of the net and leading the attack squarely falls on Hoyland's shoulders. Talbot says, Ten Hag had envisaged Hoyland as a versatile attacker rather than someone who would be leading the line as the club battles with the Champions League next season. He did not expect to be solely relying on a 20-year-old who scored 10 goals last season and is yet to develop as good or as world-class as Hoyland may become. Ten Hag did not want that risk. Talbot adds that United did not plan on spending anything like as much as they did despite the fact that they pressed on with the transfer. Manchester United ahead of Paris Saint-Germain in race for Hefren Thuram. Manchester United's need for another defensive midfielder was clear to see during the Premier League opener against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Eric Ten Hag's preferred choice has always been a Fiorentina Sofiane Mrabat, but that chase has proved cumbersome due to United's inability to move on midfielders already at the club. Now with Liverpool entering the race, things are set to become even more complicated, even though the Moroccan reportedly still wants to come to Old Trafford. The Red Devils are also keeping close tabs on other players on the market, and as reported by the people's person, they have recently shouted Nice Kefran Thuram. It's easy to see why Thuram is on the radar of all the top sides across Europe. The 22-year-old had featured in 48 games across all competitions last season, scoring twice and registering an impressive 8 assists. His performances had earned him an international debut with France and a spot in the League One team of the season. His versatility is another huge asset, as the Frenchman can play all across the midfield and can even do a job out wide and is valued at 32 million euros as per transfer market, with his Nice deal running until 2025. As per Sports Zone on Twitter, the son of legendary French defender Lilian is a target for Paris Saint-Germain, with Luis Enrique a great admirer of his talents. PSG have already missed out on Gabriel Vega, and Thuram is seen as the perfect alternative. However, United are ahead in the race. The reports read, Kefran Thuram is again of interest to the Parisian management after the failure of talks with Gabriel Vega. Luis Enrique greatly appreciates his profile. Paris is nevertheless behind on the track. Juventus, Man United and Liverpool have taken the lead. The likes of Ryan Gravenberg and Amado Onana are also on the list of potential Mrabat alternatives and it will be interesting to see whether United can actually strengthen in that area and if so, who they bring in. Jorgen Klopp in direct contact with Sofian Mrabat, midfielder still waiting for Man United. Post the Wolverhampton performance, Eric Ten Hag will surely realize that Casimiro alone cannot handle the opposition counter-attacks, especially if Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes are caught high up the pitch time and again. The Dutch manager's preference has always been to bring in Sofian Mrabat of Fiorentina, with the pair sharing a great rapport having worked together during their Utrecht days. However, United have seemingly exhausted their transfer kitty in the process of signing Mount, Hoyland and Andre Onana and need to offload players to bring in new ones. The plan was for the Red Devils to offload two midfielders before bidding for the Serie A star, but so far, only Fred has secured an exit 
while both Scott McTominay and Donny van de Beek remains at the club. That has led to a delay in the move with United aiming to drag it till the end of the window in order to get a last-minute discount with Fiorentina holding out for 30 million euros. The 26-year-old has reportedly agreed personal terms with the 20-time English League champions but is left frustrated with this entire delay. As reported by the People's Person, Liverpool have been trying to hijack the deal and now as per Correr dello Sport, Liverpool re-established contact with Fiorentina a couple of days ago, having been rejected by other midfielders. The report read, In fact, for the last couple of days, the Reds, scalded by Caicedo's arrival at Chelsea, have re-established contacts with Comiso's club to get the Moroccan. A clear request from a club would have spoken directly with the midfielder, which however today clashes with the high demand from Fiorentina, 30 million euros. The parties are working to find a solution. Mrabat, after some hesitations related to the preferences of his entourage, now seems convinced to accept the Liverpool court, even if Manchester United has not left the scene and could forcefully return to the race. Fabrizio Romano has indicated that the Moroccan is still waiting for United, despite Liverpool's entry, and most reports tend to suggest that the player will only go to Merseyside if United officially call off their chase. On United target Gonzalo Inazio signs a new contract at Sporting Lisbon with increased release clause. Manchester United target Gonzalo Inazio has ended speculation over his future by signing a new contract at Sporting Lisbon with an increased release clause. The Portugal international has been heavily linked with the Red Devils over the past year. Earlier this summer, it was reported that Inazio was stalling over a new deal in anticipation of an offer from United. He has now decided to commit his future to Sporting on a long-term deal. The centre-back previously had a release clause worth 45 million euros, but that has been increased to 60 million euros with a fresh contract. The Red Devils currently have Lisandro Martinez as the only left-footed centre-back in this squad. When he was unavailable or injured last season, manager Eric Ten Hag chose to play left-back Luke Shaw from the role. In our view, the club should have prioritized a quality deputy for Martinez. Inazio has shown that he has the attributes to become an elite defender. The left-footed ace is a strong ball-flying centre-back who is good with his tackling and ability to clear his lines. The 21-year-old has also excelled when it comes to winning duels. He won 60% of his aerial challenges in the league last term. He also made his Portugal debut in March. In our opinion, United should have considered an approach for Inazio earlier in the summer. They could have signed him for much less than his previous release clause of 45 million euros. Sporting have now succeeded in increasing the valuation to 60 million euros. It's unlikely that United will sign him now unless they can recoup a significant amount through player sales. Man United target Benjamin Pavar available for 35 million euros with add-ons, deal only possible if Maguire leaves. Manchester United remain interested in signing Bayern München defender Benjamin Pavar, but a deal depends on Harry Maguire heading for the exit door, as per Gazette dello Sport. The Red Devils recently reached a verbal agreement with West Ham United over the sale of Harry Maguire, but a transfer did not materialize after the centre-back refused to discuss personal terms. The Englishman's decision has hampered United transfer plans, considering they were preparing to sign Pavar as his replacement. It's now reported that Inter Milan and Arsenal have joined the race for him. The Nerazzurri recently made an opening 25 million euros bid for the 27-year-old, but the offer was rejected by Bayern. The German champions want at least 30 million euros up front with 5 million euros in add-ons. Inter are unlikely to raise their offer, but Gazzetta dello Sport claim Arsenal and United could meet their demands. The Gunners want to fill the void left by Urian Tamber's long-term injury. Meanwhile, United's move for him is clearly dependent on Maguire leaving the club. 
United were optimistic of parting ways with Maguire earlier this summer. They agreed a deal worth £30 million with the Hammers, but the centre-back decided to stay. The move is expected to block their plans of pursuing Pavar from Bayern. United need a high-profile exit from their defence before they can sign the World Cup winner. Maguire is the only sellable defender in the current squad. The likes of Aaron Van Bissaka and Victor Lindelof proved their credentials until manager Eric Ten Hag last season. As things stand, United could miss out on signing Pavard to one of their European rivals. It won't be a good sight if he ends up joining the Gunners in the coming days for United. Pavard can play as a central defender or as a right back. Last season, he had a passing accuracy of 90% in the Bundesliga, winning 2.3 tackles and 5 duels per game. He would be a quality acquisition for his next club. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.